How you going there? Welcome to the latest instalment from The Green Man. It's a very exciting day here today. As some of you may know, I've got a cavity brick wall home. That means two skins of bricks with a cavity in between. It's a very traditional style of house construction in Australia from Victorian Federation, Edwardian, Art Deco. Most of those houses use a double brick construction and even some interwar houses. Now while it looks good and performs reasonably well because of the high thermal mass, even a double brick cavity wall only has an R value of around 0.5 to 0.6. A brick veneer insulated with standard wall wrap and R1.5 bats will have an R value of somewhere close to 2.5 to 3. So there's significantly more So today, what we're going to do is insulate my cavity. The product we're using is called Rockwool. It's one that's very famous in the UK. In the UK, what they've done is insulated over 3 million homes, if you can believe that. It's an insulation program similar to ours, but much better run, and it's had much better results. Over there they use electricity for heating, much more so than we do in Australia. So the power companies together with the government have subsidised completely the retrofitting of rock wall mostly into double brick or cavity brick wall houses. Now it's been extremely successful. Now rock wall is a great product, it's fire retardant, it is water resistant so you don't get capillary action of water through your brick walls and it's not a source of food for rodents or termites or anything like that. After all, it is made from rock. So, enough of me talking. Let's have a look at how it all works. Okay, as you can see, I've had a brick layer come around and rake out the bricks on the outer skin of the wall in order to allow the rock wall to go in. Here you can see it's done under all of the windows and halfway down the walls to ensure I get full coverage. If you have a look here, the blue is the machine is the pumping machine. Bags of insulation are thrown into it. It then pumps them down this hose all the way and up into where Hayden is standing up on the roof. Now Hayden's lifted the tiles off. That gives him access to the top of the cavity wall and the rock wall can go straight in. As you can see, when it's full, it fluffs right out. If we have a look down it's here, down you can there. see it blows around and around, gradually filling up the space until it's full in its entirety. That's obviously important to ensure you've got no gaps and thus no heat loss through your walls. I'll just then get my friendly bricklayer back and he'll put the bricks back in and we'll look as good as new.